Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion is one that is particularly meaningful to me, and I think meaningful to all of us who come into the Friedman Lavitz Sanctuary to pray. We were gone these last four or five months while we recovered from Hurricane Harvey, but everyone wanted to know, when would we be back in our sanctuary? When would we be back in our beautiful Friedman Lavitz Sanctuary, where we could come together and celebrate the joys of living Jewish the joys of being a community once again. When we finally came back last month, there was an outpouring of love, an outpouring of excitement that we were back home. That role that the synagogue plays and that the sanctuaries play is one that it goes back thousands of years. Indeed, some 3,500 years ago, the Israelites wandering through the wilderness of Sinai needed a place in which they could find God in a more intensified form. Yes, you can find God everywhere. That's what we were taught even when we were children. You can pray to God anywhere, but there's something about having a sacred space that is carved out where you can find not only God, but your community, everyone who shares your faith with you. And so this beautiful sanctuary was created and when I was asked some years ago to find a verse from the Torah that could be displayed in this sanctuary in a way that everyone would see it and be touched by it week after week, I chose a verse from this week's Torah portion, Truma. Ba'asuri mikdash v'shachanti betocham. As it is written right here, build me a sanctuary, God says, that I might dwell among them. As was true for our ancestors in the desert so many centuries ago, it is true for us as well. We need a place where we can come together, a place where we can celebrate the joys of Jewish life, where we can celebrate young couples getting married, young children becoming bar and bat mitzvah. We need a place where we can celebrate the holidays, Passover coming up, Purim, Sukkot, Shavuot, and all the holidays. We need a place where we can come and find God, yes, where God can dwell with us. But we need a place, too, where we can come as a community to find God and to share in all that it means to be part of our beautiful Jewish people. It feels so very, very good to be home, to be back in our synagogue, with so much left to be reclaimed from the waters of Hurricane Harvey. We still have so much to be grateful for, that we have what we have. Asuli Mikdash, God says to build a sanctuary. In our case, rebuild a sanctuary, that he may be here with us and we with him and all of us together. May it be so for many, many years to come. Shabbat Shalom.